and my loves. This is going to be a general love reading for my singles and coupled Cancer, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 1st through the 15th. Hope you all are doing well. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you subscribe and um, like, leave a comment, and share with your family and friends. Keep in mind that the gender scenarios in the zodiacs can be interchangeable. And we will get started. All right, Cancer. I've already shuffled my cards, pre-shuffled off camera. So just doing a little shuffle for the camera. All right, we're going to start with our singles, okay? We have unrequited love as your overall energy. Let go of control issues as your advice and pay attention to the red flags for your um, outcome. For my married couples, I have release your ex as your overall energy. Make the effort as your advice and romantic feelings for your outcome, okay? Let's pull some tarot cards as well. Let me shuffle these again. One more time for you. All right. I'm just going to lay out all the cards and then we can get started on clarifying these for you. All right. All right. For the overall energy for my singles, I have the world card. For your advice, I have the nine of fire. Your outcome, I have the dreamer. For my married couples, your overall energy is the sun. Your advice is the page of air. And the seven of water as your outcome, okay? All right, singles. Unrequited love is the first card. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? So maybe for some of you, um, you're entering into a new, a new relationship or you are leaving behind a relationship. You have left behind a relationship, okay? There's a new cycle that's happening in your world right now, okay? There's some good karma happening for you um, to my single cancer out there. There's this completion. There's this integration. Also, some of you could be traveling. Maybe some of you could be traveling, meeting someone, okay, with the unrequited love in the world card here. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of fulfillment that you're having as being single right now, okay? Um, and again, maybe this is um, just a phase that you're currently in because you're either just getting out of a relationship or you're thinking about entering into a new relationship. But let's go ahead and clarify this overall outcome for you. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here for cancer? We have the 10 of wands. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, some of you could be newly single. And let's see, we have... The Seven of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here for you, okay? So we have these. So what I'm feeling is some of you are probably getting out of a relationship because there was like a heavy burden, some energy. There was a lot weighing on your shoulders. Maybe some of you were just thinking a lot. I'm also picking up on the energy if some of you... Um, <clears throat> were shifting you know with this world card here you were at a completion of a cycle in your life and um you felt that uh, it was time to escape or remove people and things from your world and um i do feel like you know it was just a very heavy energy that was laying on you or weighing on you subconsciously and for some of you i <clears throat> I feel like, you know, it was some of you are have walked away and this is probably the reason why you're single right now with this overall energy right here. Then the seven of cups we have in reverse, okay? So this is about alignment. So some of you are finding that inner peace. You're finding that um, alignment within your life, within your, uh, you know, personal relationships, okay? You're valuing yourself right now. And um, this could also mean that some of you might be overwhelmed by some choices, okay? Then we have the um, the Six of Pentacles here in reverse. And this is about self-care, okay? So I do feel like right now you're just focused on you right now, Cancer. Okay, for those of, my, those of you that are single, um, you're just focused on, on you. Um, maybe right now there might be a delay in some options, you know, or opportunities for some of you because you're really right in the state of finding yourself right now because you've been over, over, you know, overwhelmed with, um, 
with thoughts and feelings and responsibilities and you're just really focused on you right now, okay? As your advice, okay, let go of control issues, okay? For some of you that may find yourself in this situation right now and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Then we have the, the nine of fire, which is saying don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself, okay? With this nine of, <clears throat> excuse me, this nine of fire here. It's all about courage and persistence and be, your, tape, your faith being tested but it's also about resiliency, of resiliency, okay? So um, let go of these control issues that some of you might be um, holding on to right now. And again, I feel like the overall energy is letting go of that and you're just trying to find ways right now to let go of, um, let go of a relationship or let go of um, a person who has been in your space and um, kind of overwhelming you, okay? One more card. Why is the nine of fire here? So some of someone that you were probably dating in the past too, maybe had control issues. This could also be your, your energy as well, but maybe some of you are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and it was just too much. It was, it was just a lot of energy. Um, but right now you're just trying to, you're trying to move forward with that. Have the courage and, and believe in yourself. Okay. I do feel like, again, your overall energy is the world, the world here. So I feel like it's just time to let go of the things that you cannot control. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, definitely your energy, and the King of Swords here, okay, clarifying this Nine of Fire. So I do feel like right now, <clears throat> some of you are single, but maybe a single a single parent, you may be focusing on your children right now with this, with this Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you're for, you could be also just focused on nurturing yourself. Um, providing some financial stability for yourself, um, or you could be, you know, again, like I said, a, a single working parent, okay? You could be focused on that. With this Eight of Cups, I do feel like an energy of, you know, some of you have been worried, you know, you've been worried about, can I do this alone? And I feel like the answer is yes, okay? The answer is yes. With this with this King of um, Swords here, it's about, you have the mental clarity coming in for you. This is a whole new chapter for you, um, for those of you that are newly single. And also those of you that have been single for a while because you're focusing focusing on um, self-love, you're focusing on self-worth, you're focusing on your finances and things like uh, things of that nature, okay? So I feel like you're focused on, you know, intellectual power, you know, authority, you're focused on truth. And I feel like some of you had to walk away from something in order to see that, okay? So those of you that are um, newly single or trying to walk away from a relationship right now, um, I feel like you know in your heart, you know the answer. For some of you with that Eight of Cups there, it's time to walk away from that anxiety, that worry, that fear. Um, and really step into your power with that king of, um, with the king of swords there, okay? What is your truth, okay? What what are you seeing? What are you receiving mental clarity on, okay? Go with that gut feeling right now, okay? Then we have your outcome is pay attention to the red flags, okay? Uh, the signs are cautioning you. And then we have the dreamer card. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities, Okay, so I feel like for some of you, this could be um, this could be someone that that could be uh, coming into coming towards you for my singles. Okay, this person can be coming towards you, but it's like it's it's pay attention to the red flags. So I'm picking up this energy of not wanting to to create the same cycles that you've that you've been in for um, for a long time now, or um, not necessarily a long time, but, it, or, or it could be, it just keeps, it's just these cycles, these patterns keep playing out over and over again in different relationships. And I think that you're in a different space now, Cancer. So you're able to pay attention to the red flags, um, when someone comes into your world. All right. Let's see why the dreamer's here. Why is the dreamer here? We have the three of cups. Uh, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Definitely all of your energy. And I feel like this is um, energy that... Too many. I'll just take it, though. Too many cards, but I'll take it. 
So I have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Strength card, and the Star. Um, so again, some of you could be dealing with the air sign, fire sign, or you could also be dealing with another, actually everybody's on the board at this point, okay? But I do feel like, you know, this, you're going to, you know, with this Three of Cups here, you're going to go out and start celebrating, having a good time, being a little bit more social after, you know, coming out of this phase of, um, of releasing and understanding, okay? I don't think you're going to find love right away, and this is probably why, the, the, you know, it's saying pay attention to the red flags because maybe there is someone that you have in mind, but maybe there's some things that you really need to um, look into with this person, okay? Find the strength and the courage here with this, um, with the strength card. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, don't be persuaded. Don't allow people to persuade you. Maybe in the past that was, you know, you were easily manipulated or something. You were easily influenced, okay? Um, your focus now is self-love, self-compassion, okay? Motivate yourself moving forward. Um, don't take the first... <laughs> Don't take the, the first offer that comes for you. That's the energy I'm picking up on. You know, pay attention to the red flags. This is all about you at this phase in your in your life. Um, and you know, it's all about it's all about you. It's all about self-love right now for my um single cancers out there. Okay, with this the star card here is all about hope, faith, purpose. It's about rebuilding. I feel like you're rebuilding your your world right now. Um, you're going to be rebuilding your world, you're gonna have a renewal. Um, for some of you, you could be stepping into your the spiritual aspects of yourself um, and just really focusing on your healing, self-healing, self-love, okay? So I do feel like that's very strong and prominent in your reading is all about taking care of yourself right now for my singles, okay? Now for my married couples, your overall energy is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, okay? So some of you... Um, I don't know if you're just getting into a relationship or you're getting into a committed relationship and you're still holding on the energy of an ex or some of you are actually holding on to um, a person that you should be letting go of right now. Okay, let's see what the, the, uh, the tarot says. Um, <clears throat> in clarifying the release your ex card, I have the sun card. It's, um, it's a happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Okay. So for some of you, you might be struggling right now trying to find ways to release your ex. This is the overall energy, okay? Maybe your ex keeps coming back into the picture, trying to reach out to you in some sort of way. And I feel like this is probably because you have, some of you have moved on. Um, maybe you have moved on from a re moved on from that relationship and you're happy now in a new relationship and they're really having a hard time seeing that you're happy here with this son. Could be in a relationship with the Leo. Um, but they're having a hard time. So it's like they keep coming, they, they keep trying to, to enter back in, in some sort of way. And they just, it, it's like, they just won't leave you alone. Let's clarify this sun card. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here for cancer? Some of you are definitely feeling a bit challenged trying to release your ex, okay? So some of you might be currently in a situation right now where you're no, you know it's no good for you and uh, you know that there's happiness on the other side and uh, you just don't know what to do or you're probably going through a spiritual awakening here with this tower card here. But I do feel like re with releasing your ex, for some of you, there is an energy with this tower card here in the center of this that some of you are walking away from a relationship, okay? Um, whether that's um, getting a you know having a separation, getting a divorce, or you're just walking away from someone you've been in a relationship with for a while, I do feel like it's a challenge. Okay, with this seven of wands here, that um, you feel like um, you feel like you have to compete in some sort of way. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's somebody else involved. Maybe this is a third party situation, and you're you're finding yourself having to compete, and you're just getting to a state where you're just like, I I can't do this anymore. Um, I need to walk away. This is, this is unhealthy for me. Okay. There's this, uh, there's a change that that's, there's a change that's coming. Okay. And because I feel like some of you are feeling very chaotic within, um, it's, this could be for some of you, a disastrous situation. Okay. Um, but I do, I do feel like with this, with the Ace of Wands here, there is a new beginning that's coming in for some of you as well. Okay. 
what's the um what's the advice for you the advice is make the effort okay great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay and sometimes for some of you this may mean that you're releasing this ex you're releasing this person that you're currently with or you're releasing the person that you just got out of a relationship with because you're in a relationship with someone else new you have to make the effort to do that um this could also mean for some of you just taking care of you right now, okay? And clarifying that make the effort card is the page of air. Um, it's about honesty, okay? Some of you are also very, very curious. Maybe there's um, maybe there's someone that you have in mind and you want to make an effort to maybe, you know, test the waters on that end, okay? Um, but I do feel like this is this could be a challenge for some of you because some of you are definitely might be in your head here with this. Um, with this page of air, okay, but um, some of you are having new ideas. You're very curious about things. Your your thirst. Your, you you want more knowledge. You want new ways of communicating, um, and maybe that's you know with releasing your ex. Maybe you have to think of new ways to communicate with them um, on how this isn't serving you anymore. Let's clarify this page of air. Why is the page of air here? We have the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could also be dealing with the fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Virgo. And then we have the full card here too. You could be dealing with um, Aquarian energy as well, um, which we did already say you could be dealing with an air sign. So um, let's see. I'm looking at this here, the queen and the hermit, okay? I feel like somebody's like not seeing eye to eye. I feel like somebody is really focused on themselves right now. Um, and then I feel like there's another, there's the partner or this could be your energy that's very open and ready to talk about this, um, whatever this is, um, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now in your relationship. I feel like somebody's closed off with this hermit card right here. And I do feel like, somebody's wanting a new beginning um but not knowing how to get there with this full card okay um because i feel like this i feel like this person who's closed off is not open isn't open to a new beginning i feel like this person just kind of wants to maybe walk away from it um I'm also feel, picking up this energy that somebody, whoever this person is, that's the more of the open partner who's open and ready to make this relationship work. I do feel like there is an energy of um, someone, this closed off person is wanting this person to read their mind. I feel like I, I'm picking up that energy strongly. Like, um, remember, it's like a closed mouth doesn't, don't get fed, right? So it's like, if you're not expressing how you feel and what you're needing, it's not going to happen. You're not going to have this new beginning here, okay? So um, you definitely are going to need to speak up and be more open because someone is definitely closed off and somebody is definitely wanting a new beginning. And maybe it could be that this person who is closed off is wanting a new beginning, but maybe with someone else, okay? Um but I do feel like there's an energy of not seeing eye to eye, not being on the same page. Someone is very closed off and someone is kind of watching, okay, whether male or female, this queen of wands, someone is watching someone go through whatever this is that they're going through internally. And it's like, there's nothing that they can do until you actually say something, okay? Or the other person says, I need help with this, or I need to understand this, or I, I want to work through this with you to have a new beginning. Nothing's going to happen until you actually speak, okay? And the outcome for you for January 1st through the 15th, again, remember time is fluid. So whenever you're seeing this video is when you're meant to see it is romantic feelings for the outcome. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? And then I have the seven of water clarifying that. So I feel like some of you are having to make a complex decision about something. Um, maybe some of you are needing to do research about something. And cancer, it's you, can, you cannot procrastinate, okay? Definitely don't procrastinate when it comes to this, okay? This seven of water is saying there's opportunities, there's choices. Um, some of you could be, you know, wishful thinking about things, but you could be a bit elusive, but I do feel like there's this energy of you have to speak up. Okay. Um, and I feel like once you do speak up, 
there's opportunities for you for you to grow together, for you and your partner to grow together. And then you can reestablish the romantic feelings that you have for one another. And it feels like, um, like new love again. Why is the seven of water here? Why is the seven of water here? Okay, the Knight of Cups, definitely a new offer in love. Someone that you're dealing with that's, you know, this could be your energy. You could be this very um, charming knight in shine, shining armor kind of individual. Um, the Devil card is here too. And then we have the Justice, so two major arcana. Some of you are trying to find the truth in something, fairness in, in something um, within your relationship. Um, I do feel like... <clears throat> For some of you, I always, you know, I get a lot of, you know, with the devil card here, I get a lot of sexual energy. Maybe, you know, maybe some of you are needing to um, find new ways to to uh, create a new spark in the bedroom, try new things. Um, you know, maybe this is why this seven of water is saying there are opportunities. There's, you know, do your research here. Maybe you're needing to find find creative ways to, to come back together, okay? Maybe someone... Um, Sorry to turn this into a sexual thing, but maybe maybe this is just a one-sided thing. Remember, again, so maybe somebody's closed off, okay? Somebody's closed off, and maybe you want to try more things, or it could be your partner. You want to try new and exciting things, and it's just your partner's really not feeling it, okay? So maybe you got to find something, um, something creative, research something creative to kind of bring you back together, okay, so that it feels... Um, it feels fair, but I do feel like there's um, there's going to be offers of you know maybe favors coming in that's going to you know maybe spark some some new um, excitement and some fairness. So it feels like your maybe your sex life doesn't feel like it's just one one sided. Maybe somebody's being like a pillow princess or something, and they don't want to try new things. But I do feel like maybe both of you need to come together and, um, you know, do some research together and compromise on some new things that you can try possibly in a bedroom to bring the two of you back together, okay? So that is the outcome for you, Cancer. If you're looking to explore this more, please check the description box below. Um, my information is there. Be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. Love and light. And I'll see you guys for your mid-month readings. Bye, Cancer.